So you might think in Python, everything is a data frame. That's not necess necessarily true. So here you can see that we created a data frame for our machine learning. So essentially this was our data. It was a dictionary that contained keys and value. So each key has a value and this value is a list of items. So remember lists are the sum of separated items that can, are contained within these square brackets. And then a dictionary is recognized by these curly braces and the colon over here. So this colon and the square bracket, when you see them, you can assume safely that it's a dictionary. So we converted that into a data frame. But later on, when we selected the features, so we selected size and bedroom. So these would be our features. Okay. But what you'll notice is we also separated out the price. So the columns that we got essentially were originally like this size, bedroom, price. When we selected the size and the bedroom, it became like this. So essentially, so it went from from the three columns here to two columns. Now, one thing that I want you to notice is that this generates a data frame. So this is a table essentially, while here, this isn't really a table. When you select just one column out of your existing data frame, that becomes a series. So here's how you find out this. So this here, you can see we've got two columns here. This looks like pretty much a table, but when you look at the Y variable, where we just select the price, this only has one column and this one column over here, you can see that it doesn't really have a column name. It just has indexes over here. Unlike this one, which has column names and indexes, and you've got the values over here, this one just has the values and index. So this looks like a list, but it isn't a list. Internally, it's still part of pandas. So what you can see here is we have the x1 is actually a date frame. So the x variable, because it has two columns, is a date frame, but the y variable over here is actually a series and all that means is that a series is one column and it has indexes over here and i'll explain what the difference is between a series and a list in another explanation but for now it is just easier to understand that if you have two columns then it will be a date frame if you have one column then it's a series so this series is created automatically by python so when we did this syntax and use this syntax this is uh, this created a series while this one created a date frame